in those days before automobiles, there were salesmen that came from Baltimore and visited all of the country stores. There were a lot of country stores around. And they were called Zomers. They would take the orders, send them back to Baltimore, and the goods would be shipped on steamboats. And the merchants would send uh, wagons, uh, buggies, or horse drawn stuff to the walls and pick up the merchandise and carry it back to the country stores. So that was a big part of the steamboat day before automobile and trucks started to get plentiful. These country stores were stores that carried anything, shoes, clothing, uh, uh, groceries, uh, well, one of the things that was, was ladies' hats. When I was little, a lady hardly ever left home without a hat on and always wore one to church and a lot of times gloves, white gloves. And these country stores usually had a little room or compartment for a milliner, you know who, who that is. Mm -hmm. That's a woman that uh, trims hats, makes hats. And my mother, in her younger days, was a motherman. And she got, I'm sure, got her supplies from Baltimore. And maybe took some trips up there to get the stuff to make the hats with. They wanted to shop, they'd get on a steamboat and go to Baltimore and probably spend the night. They could get up there probably all night and shop in the stores in Baltimore and come back home the next day.